everybody, welcome to another video where I show you how to use your wing with a DAW and today we're going to cover Reaper. It's been a while since I've used Reaper, I've been a logic guy for uh, the last two years. I think what I remember of Reaper is good enough to show you guys how to do some uh, basic setup into Reaper. If you want to go into more uh, deep video, I will do some. I will try to invite my friend uh, Patrick Gilles who designed really awesome software to use the wing uh, with Reaper. Uh, that's coming in a future video. And because I want to make sure that everybody is up to speed, I want to do something that just cover the basis. I basically want us to walk before we run. I am using Reaper version 6.33. The first thing that I want to check is that we are using our wing as an audio interface. So I'm going to click here on top. I'm going to go to audio device setting. And right now I'm using my MacBook Pro uh, built-in audio interface. This is not what we want to use. We want to use our wing. So wing. Great request simple rate 48k. This is what we're using, and I'm gonna change the buffer size to uh, 1024. Sounds good, and we're gonna click apply. Okay, and now I know because I can see 48 channel by 48 channel that we are using or wing that is set at 48 channel by 48 channel. Now, if we wanted to record um, many input at the same time, uh, on some of my other example, I was talking about a drum, recording a drum. Let's say that we want to record eight input of drum to uh, bring up some track. You can go in track, click new track, that will give you a single track. You can also double click on the left where you have track, or you can right click and set insert multiple track. We already have two tracks in now. I wanna go for a total of eight, so we're gonna add six track. Okay, to set the input for all these tracks, you need to record enable them. I'm just gonna record enable everything. You can also just shift click and enable record and everything. And in Reaper, you need to do this one by one. You need to set your track input manually. First one here will be mono one two three four five we're gonna get there six seven and eight you can also create stereo track if you want to let's say that we don't want to use track uh, eight and we want seven and eight for drum overhead which is going to go here seven and eight that way we created a stereo track once you have built your first basic session i suggest you to save it as a template so you just go here file project template and just save it with a name that you will remember in the first episode of this series, we set up uh, some stuff on the wing itself. If you remember, I have a vocal microphone that you can see uh, me speaking into right now on the screen. Uh, this microphone has already some gain and we already apply some routing on the console. If you didn't see that episode, please go back, go take a look at it because I'm gonna assume that you see it from now on. We have some sound coming in. Right now you only see one microphone because I only have one, but if you were to have eight mic, they will all have level at this point. As soon as you press record enable, you will see the VU meter going on the screen. And if I press record, we will record eight track. Okay, now that we recorded some signal, it's now time to play back. When we press spacebar or play, we're not hearing anything. We can see that we have some stuff going in the main out of Reaper, but we have to remember that this main out is assigned to USB output from the computer. So USB input on the console, one and two. By default on the console, uh, input 41 or A1 is already assigned with USB 1 and 2. This is there by default on the console. So you need to raise that fader or press solo on it if you want to hear it in your headphone. Also make sure that you've seen the video where I'll talk about monitoring. I explained basic monitoring through the console because for this basic example, we're not gonna monitor through the software. We will monitor through the console only 
on channel A1 USB return 1 and 2 this is where uh, all the magic happened when you play back a session or when you want to record with a metronome and send it into headphones hi editing me here uh, speaking of metronome if you right click on the metronome on top of your session you will have all the option for a uh, beat level and if you want to modify the tempo or the BPM or the speed of your session in the bottom right you will find uh, a, an icon with BPM and a number by default it will default to 120 feel free to set it at the speed that you need your song to be the fact that we are monitoring through the console will enable us to record some stuff with almost no latency between the musician playing hearing himself back and the session in Reaper now that we recorded multiple track at the same time uh, let's say that we want to overdub something let's give an example that we just recorded some drum and we want to add another track to record some bass some maybe some guitar or vocal we can just double click here arm or track to be recorded and we can select the input that we want to use for this track let's say that we're going to use input number nine for this one let's say that this is our bass guitar and we just record bass on top of that so now we got everything running we can just press record and we will hear the track playing in the background what we already track and a new one is being created on top of it I believe that at this point you are pretty much free to do some basic recording you can uh, record a band of 16 input altogether or you can record 16 input of drum with a metronome and you can uh, layer some stuff on top of it that will be it for this first basic episode on Reaper. Uh, more DAW to follow and more advanced stuff going on with Reaper to be soon available. If you want to see more video about the wing in studio or live, subscribe to the channel if you like that video. Give it a thumbs up. Until the next one, please take care of yourself and I see you guys later.